Today what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you a little bit about how to use an application that I have called JumpCut. And I really like it. Basically what it means is that you can store up to 40 items or so on the clipboard and be able to bring them back in. So mainly I use it when I want to sort of grab a whole lot of different things from one place and put them somewhere else. So for instance on this one here I might want to uh, copy the link from that. And maybe I'd like to uh, select just this bit of text here. So let's just select that text there. Command C to copy it. And maybe I want to get the uh, RSS feed for this here as well. So copy link. As you can see, Leo Laporte gets a right lashing from Alison Sheridan of the Nasilla cast. So let's say I'm going to copy that bit there. Control C. Now obviously you can go and put these things wherever you want to put them, but... Uh, Let's say I want to put them into this application here, which is text edit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a control V and that's the last thing that I copied. But maybe it's not the last thing I want to I copy that I want to put in there. So what I do is I go to the scissors icon on the menu up there, click on this one here and I can put in any of those four things I just copied and I'll go directly into that place there. Another possibility to put stuff in there is to do control, option and V. And that's the last thing that went on there. That's the second thing that went on there. So basically I can choose whatever I want by just using the down arrow once I've got the control and option selected. And once I've selected the one I want, let go and in it goes. That's how easy it is to use jump cut. Obviously, there's a few things you can do in the preferences. So let's have a look at the preferences now. You can have a sticky bezel. So it must be manually dismissed to uh, get rid of it by using the escape or return keys. I don't tend to have that one there. And uh, wrap around bezel, I'm not sure what that does either. We'll click it and we'll find out, shall we? And then you've got your hotkeys. The hotkeys set at the moment for command, option and V. But you could use another one if you want to. And the appearance one is all sort of fairly sort of simple stuff really. And you can change the icon to suit better what you want. So if you want a pair of white scissors, you can have white scissors, or you can have black scissors, or you can have the jump cut icon. I tend to leave it as a jump cut icon. It suits me perfectly. So let's just put the sticky bezel on there and just see what it does. At the moment I've got it set so that it remembers 40 and displays in the menu 30. So there you go, I can change that to 35 if I want to. Obviously it depends on how much screen space that you have. And uh, the clippings, you can tell it to save and exit, or never to save, or after each clip. I just let that set as saving on exit. So let's just uh, clear that out of the way. We're going to just uh, copy that there, so control and copy. So I'm doing control, option and V. And that's the last thing that I got there. And that will, t I'm going to choose the last thing. So let go of that. And nothing's happening because I need to press the escape key or the enter button for it to put it in there. So that's what the sticky bezel is about. So the sticky bezel only comes into effect when you're using your control option and V. So let's do that again control option V. And it'll stay there. I haven't got my hands on any of the keys now, whereas I did before. I needed to keep the fingers on the control and option for it to stay there. And I can go through that and choose whichever one I want on there. So there you go. That's Jump Cut, and it's a really useful bit of kit.